hello beautiful people how are you doing it's been a long time so today i want to teach you how to open a uk paypal account you know we use paypal account to do a lot of things to receive international payments whether it's in dollars euros or sterling so i'm going to teach you how to create a paypal account and if you're in nigeria for uh, getting money from facebook and all other social media apps though you can use your normal nigerian bank account but then the payment de- delays and a lot of people have actually complained that the, that the, their banks withheld their money so to be on the safer side the best thing you can do is to create a paypal account so in this video i'm going to teach you how to create one and one of the things you'll be needing for this is you need your UK email. You need your UK email address. Secondly, you need your VPN. Yes, because it's not allowed. It's out of bound for people not within UK. And finally, you need your UK number. So I already have all these things in place. But then in my subsequent videos, I will make a video to teach you how to get your VPN, your UK number, and then for UK address, sorry, email address is not difficult. Just get to get your email address is just to put on your VPN and then you create your email address. The way you create email address normally, your your this thing will detect it. But then I'll I'll still make a video on that how to create your UK email address. So here is my VPN. I'm using Super Proxy VPN. This is it. I'm using it. It's already on. It's reading. So this is the VPN I'm using Super Proxy. Okay. And then let me show you my UK number. The app I'm using for my UK number. You can. We have so many apps you can use. I have this Z app. You can get a UK number. A month is um, a month is just three thousand naira. Okay, this is it. This is my UK number on Z app. Then I also have another one called Fanitel. This is a Fanitel. So actually, there are so many apps you can use to get your UK number right but then uh, for the purpose of PayPal this furniture is is um, the one that will work on it the numbers do not work on work on PayPal they will not be able to send you any notification so it's better you go for this furniture to get a number on furniture is just about three dollars all right so, so let's go and create our PayPal account. I'll go to my Chrome. And before then, my location, I've already changed my phone location and time zone to UK. So let me show you what I mean. I'll go to my settings. Make sure that your location is off. Look at your location. Make sure your location is off. I already turned it off okay so when you come to your settings you go to time and zone this is where my own time is I don't know where yours is my additional settings see date and time click on it you, you see I didn't set it set it automatically because if I set time automatically it also pick my my the timing in my location in my current location so I put it off even time zone i put it off too it shouldn't set automatically then uh, um then coming here you see the region you now choose the region which is united kingdom in okay, case it's here so it will automatically change to the time zone of a united, uh, united kingdom so that is it so let's go to our browser right now just type UK PayPal ok 
can see it here click on it i won't be able to complete this thing totally because uh, i already done this i forgot to record it while i was doing it and you click on sign up you see this thing is in personal always click personal because if you click business they will ask you for some certification which you do not have so click on personal all right then sign up you are trying to register and not logging in you don't have an account all right so personal get started they can get started then put the email address that your you, you want to use and open it and it should be uk email okay so you see here they are not asking for phone number you now put the phone number once you put the phone number you now uh, uh, they will now send a code to the phone number so if it's in Fanitel, you go back to that Fanitel app okay just copy the code or it will even pop up on your screen like this here you just scroll down and then copy the code and put it in that place and automatically you've created your paypal account it's very easy okay so then but then what do you now do because you know um this uk uh, uh, phone number you you have to renew it keep renewing it because each time you want to access your uk paypal account they will keep sending code to you so and if you don't renew your uk number it will be very difficult for you to access your you in short you can't even access it again because you can you don't have the code again and probably you don't have the money to keep renewing your uk number all the time there are two things you can do all right so let me show you the two things you can do i'll just log into my already existing paypal account now i'll show you things you can do so that you will not be receiving the uh, the code on the furniture app or whatever app you use to get your uk number so let me log into my existing account so this is my existing account okay i've already done the done it with this okay so i connected my authenticator app to it all right that's the first thing you can do connect your authenticator app you can uh, use google authenticator that's the one i know that is uh, original so that they will not be sending code to your google authenticator app no longer on your furniture so let me go to my google authenticator app to copy the code so here's my authenticator app and this authenticator app changes in in um, second like this uh, code if you don't copy it in the, in just within one minute the code will change you just have to be very fast with it all right so i've opened my my paypal account now so let me show you how i was able to do that i came to these three dashes here and then click on this thing that looks like um this setting icon up here click on it and then you go to security is there is in account go to security click on security all right then click on two-step verification all right then uh, it's already on already i've already done it if i hadn't done it see, they, they would have asked me to do it so you just click on whatever they they tell you here to add it you click on the okay so it's here done it's already done so that's why but if not you see other prompts that will encourage you to add your authenticator app and all you need to do is to is to go to your authenticator you copy the code that will show here and then go to your authenticator app and put it there let me show you now if the a code will appear on this paper you go to authenticator app if i want to add it just click on this plus on this authenticator app you now and enter the code just use something to use and remember it okay here is where you put the key the code that you copy from that paper then code name anything you want to use and be remembering you can use to know which one is which and then enter the key then add simple there's no other thing 
so each time that you want to log in they will send a code to that very one you come to your google there together copy it and go back you saw how i did it and place it there so that's one of the ways another way is just use that number to open a whatsapp account they will not be sending the message the code to your whatsapp so use the funnitel account the num phone number and open a whatsapp account once you do it they will be sending code to your whatsapp and whatsapp you know whatsapp is let's say forever they can't delete whatsapp your whatsapp number but the other thing is when you open the whatsapp account also make sure that you put on a two-factor authentication so that it cannot be easily hacked all right so that is it so you don't bother about renewing your phone number every every single uh, month so that's it thank you very much please subscribe to my youtube channel i promise to bring you more goodies more you know information anything you need to make this online journey seamless thank you very much bye